Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the Sudafoto S40 Steadicam. This is the Steadicam stabilizer. It comes with the gimbal, quick release mount, and six weights on the slide pre-installed. The body is made of a durable and lightweight aluminum alloy, and the weights come in two sizes. You get four 3.5 ounce weights and two 7 ounce weights. You'll also receive a carrying case and a second quick release plate for the forward and back balance adjustments. Both quick release plates have bubble levels in them, but since they only work in the horizontal position, they're not actually useful in helping balance the stabilizer. When attaching the second quick release plate, ensure that the arrow on the bottom faces the adjustment markers on the mounting plate. The lower bubble level should be facing you, and the upper one faces to the left. The handle on the gimbal is wrapped in a foam sleeve, though because of the way it was packaged, mine has a slight depression in the foam that's permanently flat and doesn't puff back up. The entire assembly without a camera weighs about 4 pounds. The gimbal is in a fixed position on the telescoping arm, but the thumb screw here allows you to extend the arm from about 10 and 3 quarter inches up to 15 inches, which adds additional leverage when balancing. The handle is hollow so you can place it on a stand for balancing. Let's attach my Canon T3i and balance it. First, make sure the camera is set to the way that you'll be recording, with the lens cap off and the zoom and focus adjusted. Now attach it to the quick release plate with the arrows on the plate on the left hand side of the camera. I'll be using the screw towards the back of the plate. Next I'm going to remove the smaller weights and just use the two larger ones since my camera only weighs 1 and 3 quarter pounds. I'm attaching the weights furthest to the outside of the sled as possible so it's easy to get them in the same spots next time. Then I'm going to find the neutral point by adjusting the center post until both sides are balanced. Once balanced, extend the center column about half to three quarter inches and test the drop time. We're looking for a drop time between one and a half to two and a half seconds. One one thousand, two one thousand. And that looks good. Now we'll adjust the pitch and roll of the camera. We can see that it's leaning slightly forward, so loosen the top quick mount plate and slide it back a little. It's also leaning to the left side, so we'll adjust the bottom quick mount to the right. Once it's balanced, you can go ahead and start filming. There is a bit of technique involved in filming with a Steadicam, and you'll have to control your body movements to move very smoothly. The resulting footage is smooth and cinematic compared to my footage filmed by hand. The Steadicam removes almost all the shake from holding the camera and can help you create gliding pans, follows, and flyarounds. Overall, I think this Steadicam works great, it's easy to balance, and it's a pretty durable tool for those just getting started in cinematography and filming. I hope you enjoyed this review, you can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and join me next time.